Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Cheezen. I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit while I set this up real quick. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a tier list for. Don't mind that. We're gonna be doing a tier list for Project XL. Uh, we have we have everything here. Um, <clears throat> from fruits to abilities to swords, we have everything here. We're not doing so. Uh, quick disclaimer before we start this video one we aren't doing the basic uh, weapons that you start off the game with because those don't have skills and we're just not gonna do those all right if this video gets outdated because I think they're gonna add girl girl next update then uh, I'm gonna make a pin comment below maybe sage will too and we are gonna update this video uh, not update we're not gonna make a second video because that's too much work but we're just gonna uh, we're, we're gonna update this video once they add like a lot of stuff in the future but I'm just gonna add a pin comment and say my thoughts on Gura and where I would put it in the tier list afterwards, alright? And yeah, that's pretty much it for the rules, I think. Because we have everything here. I think we're missing one thing, and the one thing we're missing is what happens when you use the pink gemstone on Shockfist. But, uh, I, uh, who really has that, you feel me? Like, I think like two people have that in the game, you know? Not that many people have that at all, so... My boy Sage here, we're going to collab on this because he has some knowledge and stuff here that I don't. And I'm going to need that. And we're just going to hop right into it. We're in a Discord call. Let me unmute myself. So I'm thinking of putting this in... I put it in C. Yeah, Alright, just because of the burn effect. But the moves, they're not that useful. Yeah. Alright, next. I think we should do Blazing Spear next. Just like Blazing Knight. Let's just go in order. Because what's, your, what's yours next? What's your next one? Oh, okay, I'll just go. All right, Blazing Spear. I'm not too not too familiar with this one, so yeah, you can take the lead here. Um, I only seen the first move. And it's just like it, it's it's basically a long range like, move, right? Knife. Yeah, it's like mm. Blazing Knight, but long range. And that's the only move I see. So I'm just gonna put it in D tier. It's worse than Blazing Knight because I use it. And I use it. In my long team. range. Attacks with fire, fire burn effects. It didn't do as much damage though. Oh, all right. That's why it's been Can't argue with that. Haven't seen it. All right. Uh, what's your next one? I think this is um, this is electrification. I all right. Seen it, but have you? I have. Uh, I have it on my alt. It's actually super broken. I probably put it in A tier because uh, first of all, I think like every move stuns. Like three out of four moves done. The first move, it's like a you shoot electricity forward that stuns for a long time, a good three to four seconds. The R move stuns too and knocks back. Uh, that's the the ground slam move. What's the? I can't remember what key the third one is, but the third one is like a uh, it's like a little teleport forward move. It doesn't have much range and it doesn't stun, but it knocks back. And the final move is what makes it really broken. Like you start slamming the ground multiple times like uh shocking it rapidly like four or five times does a lot of damage uh if you're high level you can insta kill people who are barely lower than you not barely lower like significantly lower like level 50 you're level 100 something uh, it's just really broken and that stuns too like the whole thing you can't do anything about it and it's like large like you know the entire spawn area like where the the ground no houses it covers that yeah, it's that large. Yeah, this is definitely easy. I mm -hmm. can see this being really useful for grinding especially. Yeah, it's definitely, it's like, uh, probably the best, not best, but like, top five for grinding. I put it in S tier. The shock effect, too. The next one is Lapchus Gas. Um, it's really trash. It only has two moves. I mean, yeah, that's what I thought at first, but, like, those two moves, the first one, uh, not the first, the second one does a lot of damage, right? True, but, I mean... And it has after, after time poison. Right. Yeah, but the thing is, this game doesn't have stun block, so once you use that move, you, you really can't do anything for the purpose of this. Them ones don't work unless you're the first move, bro. And if you're the first move, bro, the only way you can just move is just And if they have any other thing, basically anything with mobility, you really can't fight back. You're right. AoE is decent. So I'll put this in, I don't know, C tier too. This is 
definitely keep PS3. Mm, but the stun move though also, can't do anything during it. I guess, but really for low levels though, because you're not keeping this fruit for long. Like we ranking it on strength or rarity? No strength. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's common fruit. Nobody uses it. I wouldn't put it in C tier. That's why it's in C tier. All right, just because it has two moves, I put it in C tier too. Yeah. All right. The first move is E. Uh, you jump into the air. You start punching multiple like smoke, like smoke at the ground. It does uh, kind of bad damage, and it shakes the screen a lot. You can turn that off in the future, I know, but like it does bad damage still. So, uh, what's the next move is a stun move. You stun them for a long time, but like if they're in the air, you can't do anything about it. It's uh, you can only stun them on the ground. So that's kind of a bad stun too. Uh, but it stuns for like four seconds or four to five seconds. The C move is like a charge forward move. Uh, it, it punches it pushes them back, but it also does bad damage. And the last move, what was that move again? I just did a review on it. I might have to quickly look at my video again. Let me look them. Okay, my last move, not uh, the last move is a you jump into the air and you auto teleport to the nearest person. But if they're too far away, like um. At the spawn area, for example, you know, one side of the house is on the other side. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't, you can't go that far. So it's like, it's not, it doesn't go that far. And the damage is all right for the ultimate X. I put it, yeah, B tier. Um, it doesn't do any after image. I mean, after damage or anything like that. So. Next is Pika. I'm gonna say off the bat, definitely X tier. Definitely. I forgot it blinds. Very low cooldown. The second move has a low cooldown too. It does lots of damage without the first move. And it stuns. Uh the combo with the Pika that you wanna do is stun him with R. Uh you wanna immediately like send down the, the C move pillar, light pillars, and then while they're stunned during that, because they can't really move during that, just immediately immediately use light beam. A whole lot of stun, whole lot of blinding, whole lot of damage too. That's the what I noticed. Move, I mean, the last move is a barrage. It's like... I mean, the... Fireballs. I have one issue with the ultimate. Not the not the screen shake, the insane screen shake, but, like, the the balls are really slow. Like, they, they're they not that fast at all. They didn't make them... When you're grinding... Yeah, oh, great for grinding, though, yeah. So, yeah, that's what this move is. Mm-hmm. And Kage... All right, I'm biased towards this. I've been saying this since the day I started. This is honestly S tier, easily, easily. So first move, E move. Actually, let me go over R move to make more sense. R move, black box, stuns them. Not the longest stun, but like it stuns them for a good amount of time. That's all you need. The combo you want to do with this fruit is stun them, M1 them a little bit, but don't knock back. Use E move, which is super, like if you watch my video, uh, it has like a lot of range on it. Um, and, and it does after damage too, and it just it drains your health. It does like a lot of damage. The black bat move. The next move, what's the the third move is? Dang. Oh yeah, so shadow walk moves like flash step. If you don't have flash step, it makes you faster than flash step, and I think it lasts the same amount of time. Uh, but yeah, it's really useful. You can really you can um, it's really useful to, for catching runners and shit. And the last move is, uh, pull moves like almighty pull. Uh, you pull them into a circle that you place in the ground. It has really good range in a pull too, and it just explodes on them. It does all right damage. Oh, also, did you know Jason, that if you do the, um, the C move, then use the block box, but it won't knock back, so you can combo. You C move, then the box. Yeah. Really good combo. It's a one shot combo too. <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm gonna start using that too. Definitely yes. I wouldn't put on a C Uh, how it, it's like it's kind of kind of a counter to pika you can keep up with pika uh black box i mean if you like double jump into the air and then use black box you can catch a pika 
A tier or S tier? A S tier, S tier. Especially the damage afterwards too. The poison. Only use the first move, so you can take the lead. Fire Fist. It's like really spammable though, you know? Like 3 second cooldown? 3 to 4. Yeah, guard breaks. Nobody, nobody guards you. <laughs> You're right. I think the R is fire, fire bullets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fire bullets is really good. Is it, is it fast? Like, Cause like good. bullets. It's, it's, I think it's like Pika's on. Oh. Ultimate. Really I. Good. The next move, I forgot the next move. So, um, what was the next move? I'm trying to think. Flame pillar, flame pillar, really yeah. good. AOE move, does a, tons of burn damage. And the last move, the ultimate, is Flame Emperor. Yeah. So it also stuns lock, guard breaks, and it has like an after effect of like vibrating, I guess. It How's the damage flame. looking? Oh, I think it's like over a thousand. The ultimate does over a thousand damage. At least for my stat, that level 100. Alright. I So you want to put that in S tier? Because this sounds pretty solid to me with the guard break, stun lock. And burn damage all on, on the last move. So I'll put this in like S tier. Yes. Alright. What's your next, next one? Is voice. Voice, eh, sucks. It doesn't have like two moves. It has three. The E move, the only good thing about it is it's ultimate. The E move is just like a pushback. Mm -hmm. The pressure sure the R move is a stun. And the C move is a kind of like a barrage. I mean, the, the E move has a lot of range, like a lot of area, but there's no after. If you don't have like after uh, after damage, then you're already meh, unless, yeah. How, how long is stun? Stun, I think it's like, I think all stuns have the same time besides um, the box for Kage. So I'll say about like um, three, five seconds for the stun. Maybe like two seconds. I, I, I. D tier. Yeah, D tier. Uh, um, next is Gora. Easy. Gora. Easy S. Easy S, bro. I mean, this move. First move, L4. I forgot the name of this. But basically, the first move is like a common on the top. It's like a work of it. High damage. Oh yeah, it's like like Pika's kick put out the blinding and it's done and it has burn damage. After that move is Oh yeah, it's a mobility move. It's so oh yeah. Cool. Oh, I seen that like two second cooldown bro. Yeah, less than two seconds, more like a split second cooldown. Holy yeah. shit bro, this is the best food in the game. The last move is a one shot from Alright. Yeah, I've been hit with that many fucking times. Uh, if you don't block, that's easy. Yeah, exactly. Easily best fruit in the game right now. No no contest. Oh snap, I forgot about the This is like before the reason. This is This is blazing. It still keeps it still says stays where it's at and this is blazing too. Bla uh you're talking about blazing sword? Yeah, the fruits. In the first fruits we did in D tier and C tier, it's, they're both blazing, and I'll just put them both in C tier. Oh, you're, oh, you're talking. Wait, what are you talking about right now? Because they, I mean, they didn't update the, they didn't update the color. Oh, okay. They didn't change it. They didn't really add it. So the next, was, the next up was the blazing. Tier, so, so, so. Okay. Yeah. Shock this. Uh. The the so first move is actually just a copy paste of Electrification's third move. So I'll put, yeah, it's just I think it's basically Electrification. But, but worse. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that's fair. Diablo Jambe. All right. Uh, I mean the the the, the 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 damage is really is really good. It's up there. Oh, but like, you can easily get away from it. Shadow can get away from it. Pika can easily get away from it. Girl can get away from it. I think everything in S tier 
exactly everything's in close range. The C move, like if you're too close to them, it's gonna go right past them. Like you have to be at the right range too. It's weird, you know. Yeah. I put in A tier. Yeah. C tier. Yeah. Oh, we didn't go over Blazing Knight, the real. How's that looking? Because I, I never used it. Huh? Um, it's just the same. It's just the same as the first one over. Alright. We didn't go over Fire Breath. I think they were Fire Breath. I haven't seen it, have you? Yeah, I have. The first move, uh, you just shoot out. I only seen the first move. You shoot out like uh, fire out your mouth. It doesn't do good damage. I'll just call this right here. Um, the one, the one with all the green stems. It's, uh, it. Fire breath. Not, yeah, the um, the blaze. Oh, okay. I'll call that fire breath. The second one, since there's two of them. I'll put it. I have a second here. All right. There's two versions of like sock fist. I never one seen that version. One, one on electric, and one without. There's no difference. Same with blazing spare. One without the fire. So just put them right next to the others. All right. Here. Um. Oh yeah, one sword style. One I've sword style. I've only seen the first move, and that's really bad. I mean, for, for an early game, it's really good because the yeah. first move, it's 90 pound. I forgot what exactly it was called, like 90 pound mm -hmm. Phoenix. It's really bad damage. It's, Common Fruits yeah. are better for early game either, even. Yeah, the next move is Lion Song. Really good. AoE, and it stuns too. Oh yeah, I saw that. And it teleports you. Really mm -hmm. good. And after that is... Demon Horse is a stun move again, so you can stack oh my the stun. God. I don't know if it's possible. Last, yeah. And the last move is something dragon. Fire dragon, something like that. Yeah, I saw in your and video. You, dragon Blaze. Yeah. Basically, you jump in the air and you land down, doing a bunch of blaze damage, fire damage that um vibrates a little bit, has an after effect. Really good. I'll put this in B tier. Yeah, B tier, so I was thinking too. So next, next up, is, um, Shusoi. Mm -hmm. Really good. The first move is just the same one as one sword style, but more damage. The second move is the same as one wow, sword style, but bruh. more damage. The third move is a barrage attack that also teleports. If you ever played ABA, it's kind of like Gohan's uppercut. Oh, the last move interesting. Is, is the same as one sword style. Oh, uh, that's that's disappointing. More Whoa. damage. A I'll tier then? A yeah. Yeah, A tier. Just one move. Eh. Yeah. Um. What is this black leg? I'll let you take. Black leg. So, uh, I'm gonna go in order of. Okay, I'm just gonna say it like this. Uh, first move, E move. The kickback move doesn't do the best damage, and its, it's range is pretty small. Second move. What is that? Uh. What? Is Oh yes, that was the party table kit course. It does the most damage in Black Legs kit. It's it's um it, it's like just like Diablo, but without the fire damage and without the kick at the end. It's all right. It's actually really good. Um, C move. You like it's like Diablo, but it has less range. You like uh you leap forward, you kick him down, stun him, so you can do the combo. And X move is pretty bad it's the damage is worse than table kick course and you just stand there for like a three seconds before you kick people into the air like super high into the air what do you think about that sounds because like, sounds like a b tier sounds like a b tier yeah. yeah and the last one is just blazing eye again with effects mm -hmm. so let's go over what we did so far pika kage mira mm -hmm. and Gora do you want to rank them eight. inside of their tiers um sure i would put what do you think is better, Kage or Goro? Goro is the best. Yeah. And I'd say second best, Kage. Kage. Keep up with any fruit, yeah. Um, Peak is better than Mera, so Mera is like mm -hmm. the worst S tier. Yeah. Electrification, uh, electrifications between Pika and Mera. Um, 
It's nothing electrification can do when you're in the air. Oh yeah, I forgot to put it. What's electrification's guard break? I think it's C is uh, guardable. I think it's R. Or R is the guard break. Yeah, that's the AOE guard break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now for A tier, the, e, the best A tier is obviously Diablo. Obviously. Diablo. Mm -hmm. Then, um, Shusui and Monster mm -hmm. Now for B tier, I think Smoke is the best. Yeah. Then electric, then shock. This is basically electrification, but worse. So that's gonna be second. Mm -hmm. Then same with the other shock. This just about the party. Base. I say and black leg is the worst B tier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I now put C tier. Oh yeah, I put wide o wide o Ichimanji in B tier. Oh, how? <laughs> it's debatable. Mm, okay. Let's say we agree to disagree on that one. Right. I should put Water Ichimanji in B tier actually. Yeah, I put it under Shock Fist and Moku, but I put it above Black Leg because it is stun. So C tier, we're Blaze. Really do Blaze is the best C tier. Mm -hmm. Fire Breath right behind it. Mm -hmm. I'll say Blazing Knight next, and Gas is the worst C tier. Yeah, yeah. All now right. for the D tiers. Blazing. I think voice is the oh, oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. And then Blazing Spear. That should be it. Worst ability in the game. All right. Bet. So, so what you guys think about in the comments? And, you know, thanks for watching. All right. Peace. Yeah,